I literally was sitting back and, and watching our guys compete, watching a play. So let me tell you. So when they first got here and said that, I'm kind of like, man, this what is all gas on brakes? Tom took the winning kid, and it's picked off. Deshaun Jameson, the shark, is surfing. <laughs> Hello, Texas Longhorn fans. We got to sit down with Coach Steve Sarkeesian after the game on Saturday and ask him some pretty interesting questions on how he saw the game. We also got to talk to Bijan Robinson and Keandre Colburn. What they responded with was fascinating. Take a listen. Coach, good afternoon. It was great to watch the game today, but it was also as equally as great to watch you and your staff interact. Can you walk us through what were you doing? There were certain plays where you were squatting down almost to get a bird's eye view of the play as it unfolded. Was that really what was happening? And then I noticed you would kind of talk to your staff through your mic and almost like, okay, I saw this, saw this. Is that what was happening? And can you walk us through that? Well, yeah, I mean, one, my, uh, my coaching position of comfort is that kind of squatted stance. So I don't, you know, I, you'll see me in that more than more than not uh, as we move forward here. That's just where I, where I kind of land, you know, in days like this, you know, you try to split the staffs as best you can and let those guys kind of manage some of the personnel and things. I just want to make sure we were getting some substitutions done and letting them understand the situations. But I literally was sitting back and, and watching our guys compete, watching them play, seeing the guys that, that, you know, could kind of persevere and fight through when they got a little, when they got a little tired. Um, so that, that was some of the things I was looking for. I, I really wasn't involved in any of the play calls or anything. I was really letting it go and letting those guys handle it. Coach Sarkeesian, thank you so much for answering our question. We appreciate you. Now let's go over to Bijan Robinson and hear what he has to say. Bijan, good afternoon. So tonight when you go home and tomorrow over the weekend, when you replay this day over in your mind, what are some of the things you're going to say to yourself and some of the things you'll coach yourself with after you kind of replay and go through what happened today? Um, I feel just... I'll keep anticipating. Uh, I feel I can grow in a lot of areas. Um, you know, we, you know, today, you know, we're a little banged up, you know, for our group, but I'm not going to make that in an effect. But I feel that, you know, just keep working on, you know, little things, you know, different reads uh, out of the backfield, uh, different moves, you know, in open space. And I, that's why I feel that I, I can improve on the most. I feel that our whole group can improve on that. And, you know, when we keep doing that, I feel when we come back, It'll be, it'll be better in effect, and, and we'll, we'll have a fun uh, season next year. Bijan, total respect. Thank you so much for answering that question. Okay, let's go over to Keandre now and hear what he has to say about all gas, no brakes. What a great guy. Good afternoon. So you're pretty excited about that all gas, no brakes hat. Um, tell me what that means to you. What does that mean inside the locker room on the field, <laughs> and how do you fire up the players? How is everybody jacked up about all gas, no brakes? So let me tell you. So when they first got here and said that, I'm kind of like, man, this what is all gas on brakes? And at first, you know, going to all season, I'm all season. They was kind of slowly ejecting, like getting us into everything how they want us to be. And then when like, man, I want to say a couple of weeks before spring ball, they put it on us on that Friday, all gas no brakes, and we seen them. We was like, man, this is this is real. They're not playing with us. They they wanted to go the way they want to go. So we just got to get on board and do whatever they tell us to do. And then practice is literally all gas no brakes. So when you step on the field, you're going for two hours straight. And then when you get done, then that's when you put the brakes. We don't say no brakes, but that's what we use the brakes. That's why I use the brakes to get my recovery back. But um, I just like the fact that everybody's, they know, you know, we go on the field, we, we go fast every play, and we, we learn how to practice. That's what Coach Sarkeesian preached. You know, you practice good, you play good. And so, I mean, I just go out there and I'm all happy now because I'm used to it now. I can say that a couple of weeks before spring ball, I wasn't used to it. All this all gas, no breaks. But now I feel like I'm, I'm into it now and um, I like it. Coach Sarkeesian, Bijan Robinson, and Keandre Colburn, thank you so much for answering our question. Appreciate you. Hey, Texas Longhorn fans, stick around. We got some field-level photos to show you. I think you're going to like them. Hook them horns. Thanks. <laughs>